This video is to show you how to create a store in Magento Commerce. Currently this website is under development. It's compatible toner cartridge.net. Feel free to visit it. You're going to go to system. You're going to go down to manage stores. I already have some stores hooked up in here and some websites. In this case we're going to create a store name first. After that we will create a store view. From here you can see that I have we'll create a store called uh, Europe since I don't have one here. Sorry I clicked on this and then this sorts it out I guess by I don't know alphabetical order for the website. Uh, one word of advice here. Do not create a website. If you do and you don't know what you're doing, you will break your Magento Commerce uh, website, the front end and the back end, and you won't be able to do anything else. All right, I'm just speaking from experience here. I've done it like three times already. You'd think I would learn my lesson the first time, but nope. So anyway, I'm going to create a store. Uh, you're going to go to this drop down menu. Since I have three websites installed here, um, I'm going to pick the appropriate one. In the default, I think it says main website. I'm going to call this Europe. And my root category is compatible toner cartridge. And your end, it would probably be website, new website or main website or something like that. I'm going to save store. So here you can see under the website name, Compatible Turner Cartridge, uh, there's the store name, Europe, and now we're going to assign a store view. Normally in store view, you could think about these as languages. So we're going to create a store view. You can see that the uh, store, store name here pops up for Europe. We're going to call this one Italian and I already have some of these things pre-populated to make it faster so store code EU. We're going to enable this and we're going to call this uh, sort order number one and we're just going to save store view. Okay we're back at the um, <clears throat> manage stores part if you have a custom skin or design, um, the store view selector, a store selector, is going to probably not show. You have to tell your programmer or your uh, web developer to move the store selector from the footer to the header. And here you can see that our new store view is right here. We created it and it's in Europe. We're going to go to Europe. Obviously I did not assign this a home page in the CMS so it comes up blank. That's how you create a store view. Now if you're doing this uh, beware that you're going to run into duplicate content issues which is another segment here. So, Thanks for watching this video.